Uh, anywhere you are watching right now, receive strength, receive strength, receive strength. Isaiah 61, he said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. May the Spirit of the Lord be upon you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree. Amen, 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 amen. Let's pray. I want to confess your sin tonight. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13, it says, He that cover his sin, he shall not prosper. But he that confess, he says, He shall obtain mercies of God. So tonight, begin to confess your sin and say, Father, forgive me. Lord, show me mercy. How mercy upon me. How mercy. You remember the issue of a Canaanite woman? He was crying after Jesus. He said, Oh, son of David. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Cry tonight and say, Father, have mercy on me from every iniquity, every sin. Anywhere God is angry with you, begin to ask for his mercy. Ask for his mercy. Father, oh God, do not judge us with your rod. Do not judge us with your anger. Father, we ask for mercy. Mercy, mercy. Begin to ask God for mercy. Mercy. Mercy of the Lord. Anywhere you find yourself, say, Father, have mercy upon me. How mercy upon my family. Let the mercies of God intervene in your life tonight. Begin to ask God for mercy, 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 mercy. His mercy endures forever. His unfailing love endures forever. Confess your sin. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare. Amen. 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 Holy Spirit, we declare that tonight you minister to us as we assemble to fight and to pray warfare. Be with us tonight. Help us that we pray with understanding i will not pray amiss in jesus mighty name i prayed amen 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 hallelujah i welcome you all once again in the name of jesus christ tonight i am going to speak a message which i title what to do when you don't know what to do what will you do or what to do when you don't know what to do in our life we always experience that sometimes we find ourselves in difficult situation you don't know what to do you see yourself in t junction you see yourself get confused you see yourself you don't know how to make decision you don't know whether to follow right and whether to follow left you don't know how to make a choice you don't know what to say. You don't know what you are going to do. You know, in our life, we always find ourselves in some situation. No matter how you pretend, it is true. There is one way or the other you will find yourself. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. And you don't know where to go. But the only thing you can do is if you remember is to look unto Jesus but sometimes you don't even remember you know that's why most of us we've been cut off when incident happen we even forget to mention the name of Jesus Christ the name that is above other names sometimes when circumstances surrounded us we don't know who to call we don't know the name to mention Sometimes we, 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 we don't remember to pray. We don't remember to mention the name of the Lord, Jesus. Sometimes we don't know how to respond and how to reply. Many of us are in this kind of situation sometimes in our life. Now I'm going to speak through the book of Second Chronicle chapter 20. If you are with me, just join me. Second Chronicle chapter 20. He said, it came to pass that this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonite, they came against Jehoshaphat to battle. 
Remember, Jehoshaphat was the king of Israel at this point of time. Verse 2. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh great multitude against you and your people from beyond the sea on the side of Syria. And behold, they be hazards on Tamar, which is En Gedi. Verse 3. And Joseph had feared, and he set himself to seek God and proclaim a fast through all Judah as a king. Verse 4. And Judah gathered themselves together, ask help of the Lord. And out of all the city of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Verse 5. And Joshua stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. 6. And said, O Lord God of our Father, and not thou God in heaven, and rule not thou over all the kingdoms of the heaven, and in thy hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee. Verse 7. And not thou our God, who didst drive out the inhabitant of the land before thy people Israel, and give it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever. 8. And they dwell therein, and have built thee a sanctuary, therein for thy name, saying, if when evil cometh upon us as the sword judgment or pestilence or famine, we stand before thee house, this house, and in thy presence, for thy name is in, the, in this house, and cry unto thee in our afflictions. Then thou we had and help us. Verse 10. And now behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mausia, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade. When they came out of the land of Egypt, for they turned from the self and destroyed them not. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of the possession which thou hast given us to inheritance. Now let's go to verse 14. Then upon Jehaziah, the son of Zechariah, and the son of Benaiah, and the son of Jael, and the son of and the son of Mataniah, a Levite of sons of Azar, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And verse 15, And he said, Hearken ye, O Judah and Josephine, you inhabited of Jerusalem, and thou kings of Josephine, talk says the Lord unto you, great multitude, he said, talk says the Lord unto you, be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours. But the battle is of the Lord. The battle is not yours. But the battle is of the Lord. Hallelujah. The battle is not yours. But the battle is of the Lord. The battle is not yours. But the battle is of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight, as I said before, I'm going to preach a message what to do when you don't know what to do. In this place, we read Jehoshaphat was the king of Israel and he was a man of God, a man who feared God and a man who have hunger for God. And the Bible said that the children of Ammon, the Moabite, they plan to invade them. And they cover all the city of Judah. 
And when the information got to Jehoshaphat, he was afraid. And he was terrified. And he don't know what to do. But at the end, he seek the face of God. And they proclaim first the king and all the children of Israel in Jerusalem and Judah. They proclaim a fast in order to fight their enemies. And the Bible said they began to pray and seek the face of God. And as the congregation, they were seeking the face of God, God spoke through one of the priests. And he said to him, go and tell Jehoshaphat and the people of Israel that the victory belongs to God. And the battle is not for them. The battle is for the Lord. And that God promised that he will fight for them. Hallelujah. The same way God is assuring you tonight. He's going to fight for you. He's going to strengthen you. He's going to encourage you. You may not know what to do in that difficult situation. You may not know what to do in that situation. You may not know what to do. But I assure you that God knows what to do. God knows what to do. God knows what to do. God knows what to do, my brothers and my sisters. You may not know where to go. But God knows where you will go. Because he holds your future. He knows the beginning and the end. He holds the future. That's why one song said, Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is long. Because I know, he owes my future. My life is one, the living God. Because he lives forever, forever. Oh Lord, you are what is settled in heaven. It is settled in heaven forever, forever. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Your word is settled in heaven. It is settled in heaven. God knows what to do in that your difficult situations. In that state of confusion, He knows what to do. Remember, you are not the maker of yourself. You are not the one who said this is what is going to happen today or tomorrow. But God is the one who determined. He already programmed tomorrow for you. Devil may have programmed something yesterday against you. Devil may have projected his agenda yesterday. Devil may have done one thing on the other just to bring you down. But here, hear me well. God's agenda is on the way. Jeremiah 29, 11, he said, I know the thought and I know the plan which I think towards you. I know what I have planned for you and they are not plan of evil. They are all planned and thought of what? Thought of good to bring his will for you to an expected end. God is still there with you in that midst of circumstance, in that midst of storms, is still there with you. He's still there, no matter the name enemy try to give you, no matter the identity that situation try to label you, no matter what they try to pro proclaim against you. But God is there. He's still there. Is still there. In Psalm 23, he said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Remember, he has anointed you and anointed your head with oil. 
and he had comforted you with his rod and his staff. And he said, even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, in verse 5, he said, fear no evil, for he prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Hallelujah. Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah and Jerusalem, they were afraid of their enemies. They were afraid of the circumstance. They were all afraid of the storm. But as they look unto God, as someone to one, he said, I set my eyes upon the hill from where my help cometh. He said, my help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Look unto Jesus, who is the perfect, who is the mediator, who is the deliverer, who is the healer. Look unto him, my brothers and my sister tonight. There is nothing that he cannot do. In Ephesians 3.20, he said, Unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that you reason, and above all that you are. Tonight, I prophesy to your life, wherever you are, wherever you are going to, as you look unto Jesus tonight, the perfecter of your faith, the mediator, the healer, the deliverer, the one who rescued, the one who divided the Red Sea, the one who afflicted Egypt, and Egyptians, and the Pharaoh of Egypt, and the one who rescued the children of Israel from the state of slavery, from the state of afflictions. I call unto that God, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God who led Moses and the children of Israel, even when they were in difficult time. I call upon the name of that God. Anywhere you are in your room, in your working place right now, I declare visitation, 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 divine encounter tonight, divine visitation, wherever you are. I release divine encounter, divine visitation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I prophesy as many who are fear and afraid of the terror by the day and the terror by night. The Bible said the Lord has not given us the spirit of intimidation. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but he gave us the power tonight I release that power upon you. Receive the power wherever you are. Receive it in your room, in your workplace. Let the power hit you right now. The power that will take you from that ugly situation and put you to where you belong. The power that will deliver you from the snare of the fowlers, the snare of the wicked. May the power of God hit you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. When the people of Moab, when they gather, and they gather because they thought that they are going to swallow Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah, they thought that they are going to defeat them, they are going to oppress them, they thought that they are going to wipe them off. And they assembled themselves before the riverside and preparing to invade the land of Judah and Joshua. But the Bible says that God intervened. No wonder when you go to the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13 to 14, he said, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of the Egyptians. He said, I will fight for you. And the Egyptian you see that tormented you before, that you are afraid of, he said, you shall see them no more. And tonight I prophesy, the 
the terror that torment your life, you shall see them no more. After tonight, whatever that entangles you, whatever that bothers you, you shall experience them no more. Whatever that make you afraid, you shall experience them no more. Whatever that make you and intimidate your life, you shall experience that spirit of timidity no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makaraba zandarabu shinti yebrus. Lege de progodolo bosende. Zedege yebrusende. When you go to verse 14 to 17, he said, The Lord answered Jehoshaphat. And he said, Jehoshaphat, do not be afraid. The same way God is speaking to somebody here tonight. Do not be what? Afraid. In that chapter, Second Chronicle chapter 20, verse 14 to 17. And he said, The Lord appeared to them, Joshua and Judah and Jerusalem. He said to them, Do not be what? Afraid. I will fight for you. God gave them instruction. And he said, Go and stand before them. He said, and I will be with you. Go and stand before your enemies. And I will do what? I will be with you. Now, it is time, my brothers and my sisters, it is time for you to face the challenge. It is time for you to stand in the front of the challenge. It is time for you not to look back. It is time for you not to be afraid. Victory belongs to you. Because victory is for the Lord. Victory is yours because God, victory belongs to him. God does not want you to be afraid of the storms. God does not want you to be afraid of the situation. God does not want you to run away from your enemies. He said to Joshua, go and stand before them. Go and stand before your enemies. Go there and stand before your enemies, for I will deliver them into your hand. I will deliver them into your hand. God never run away from battles, because battles is for the Lord. Don't run away from your battle. Don't run away from your challenges. Don't run away from the mountain that is before you. It is time for you to challenge them. It is time for you to stand strong. It is time for you to say, the Lord is on my side. It is time for you to stand and say, God will fight for me. It is time for you to stand and say, the Lord is with me. The Bible says, if the Lord be for us, who shall be against us? If the Lord is on your side, who shall be against you? Yes. Nobody can be against you, my brothers and my sisters. Don't run away from battle. Don't run away from the challenge. The challenges you are seeing today, the challenges you are facing today, tomorrow, that challenge will not be there anymore. You will see it no more. Now, I want to talk to you about challenges. Challenges are not permanent. They are like just a vapor. You see? It's just like when you see a smoke of fire. When fire is burning, it raises smoke. And the smoke will be everywhere. But when the fire quench, within a moment, the smoke will do what? Will disappear. When rain fall, the vapor, you will see the vapor. But when rain stop, after a moment, the vapor will disappear. Praise the Lord. So your affliction is disappearing tonight. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that bothers you tonight, they are disappearing in the name of Jesus. Whatever that entangles you tonight, they are disappearing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Now, what do you do when you don't know what to do? What will you do when you don't know what to do? That is the topic of this prayer before we engage in warfare. Remember what I said. 
Don't be afraid. Don't be what? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Remember that the Bible says afflictions will come. He said many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord gave assurance to deliver them all from it. So I want you to understand one thing about challenges, they will come. You can't escape. You can't do without challenges. What makes us strong in our faith? What makes us be fortified and assess the glory of God is when we face challenges. And that is what bring elevation. That is what bring promotion. If you are a child of God, always know the period you go through challenges is the period that you are about to get elevated. That is the time that you are about to be lifted higher. That is the time that you are about to be decorated with the glory of God. So do not be afraid of any challenge. Do not be afraid of any circumstance. Do not be afraid of any storms. Do not be afraid of the things that make you wonder if God still exists or not. The Lord is there with you. He is there. He is there. He might be silent, but He is there. He is there watching the situation and He's there walking out and making way for you. He will make way for you tonight. Anywhere you find yourself, go make way for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Marco Tia Bragadaba City, He will make way for you. As He divided the Red Sea for the children of Israelite, He rescued them. He gave them manna, He gave them water, and He do not allow enemy to snatch them away. He did not allow affliction to swallow them, and they were not afflicted. Your own case will not be exceptional. God who rescued them, God who was with them, God who led them on the way from wilderness, and God escaped them through, and God demanded mercy for them. So sh shall it be upon you tonight. So shall it be upon your family. So shall it be upon your business. So shall it be upon whatever that concerns you. Always remember that anything that concerns you, it concerns God. It concerns Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't run away from challenges. The number two things I will encourage you, don't be afraid. When you are in the midst of challenges, when you are in the midst of storms, when you are facing your enemies and your enemies are in your front, do not be afraid. Do not be what? Afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of that terror. Do not be afraid of that witch. Do not be afraid of that wizard. They are still human beings like you. The spirit they have, which is the evil spirit, or pray their evil scheme, the same way you have the Holy Spirit to operate a higher and highest realm. So don't be afraid. He said in Isaiah 41 10, he said, I will uphold you with my righteous hand. He said, Do not be afraid. God will help you. He will uphold you. He will fight for you. Do not be afraid. He said to Joshua in that second chronicle, chapter 20, verse 14 to 17. He said, Do not be afraid. He said, Go and present yourself to your enemies. Just like what God said to Elijah when Elijah was running away from Ahab and Jezebel. And the Lord said to him, Elijah, do not run away anymore. Go and present yourself before King Ahab, the one, the enemy that is after you. Imagine. See the life of David. David 
David presented himself before Goliath. He was a small boy. Goliath was a giant, but God was the highest giant. The Bible says, He that is in you is greater than them. He is greater than he that is in them. So now, David have God that is greater, that is bigger, that is larger, that is stronger, that is taller than Goliath. This is something applicable to you. You have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who will never fail forevermore. I have a God who never fail. You have a God who never fail at all. You have a God who never fail. Who never fail. Who will never fail forevermore. You have a God who never fail. You have a God. Who never fail? You have a God. You never fail. Who never fail? Never fail forevermore. You have a God that will never fail. Everything may fail. Human being may fail. Your strength may fail. Money may fail. Your hope may fail. But God will not fail you. He will not fail at all. He is bigger than your trouble. He is bigger than your enemies. He is bigger than those who are waiting for your downfall. You will not fall. He said, my hand will uphold you. My righteous hand will help you. Tonight I prophesy to your life. May the hand of God hold you right now. Wherever you are, hand of God. Hold them by hand. Raise them up from that situation. Raise them up from that difficulties. Raise them up from that circumstance. Raise them up from that state of nowhere to go. That state that your children don't know what to do. Raise them up. Raise them up. Elevate them. In the name of Jesus, you are elevated. You are elevated tonight. In the name of Jesus, God is raising you higher above your enemies. God is raising you higher above every temptation. God is raising you higher above every circumstance. God is raising you higher above limitations, above poverty, above disappointment, above failure. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The hand of God is a, a victorious hand. It's a hand of strong power. It's a hand of healing. It's a hand of deliverance. It's a hand of breakthrough. And it's a hand of miracle. Tonight, receive your miracle wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, what to do again in the time that you don't know what to do? It is the time for you to seek the Lord in prayer. That is the time you need to seek the Lord in prayer. That is the time you need to seek the face of God and to know what is the mind of God. In Jeremiah 29, 13, he said, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. You will seek me and you will find me, but when you seek me with all your heart, that is the time you need to seek the face of the Lord. The time that you don't know what to do. The time you don't know where to go and what to say. That's the time. In Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he said, You shall call unto me in the days of trouble. He said, You shall call unto me. He said, I will answer and I will show you the mighty things 
that you do not know. He said, I will answer and show you the mighty thing that you do not know. Matthew 7, 7. He said, ask anything it shall be given unto you. Seek, you shall find. He said, knock and the door shall open. Shall open. He said to John chapter 14, verse 30 to 14. He said, whatever ye ask in my name, he said, ye shall receive. He said, ask anything in my name, verse 14. He said, I will do it. Anything you ask the Lord tonight, your prayer will be answered in the name of Jesus. God will grant your desire. God will grant whatever that you will ask tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Mark Universe Day. In the name of Jesus. Now, what is number four things that you need to do when you don't know what to do? It is the time for you to pay more attention. Sometimes God may be silent, and God wants you to, to be what? To be silent. When I mean silent, I didn't say you should not pray. It is time to pray and listen. The time to pay attention. What is the Lord saying? What is the Lord saying? The time to pay more attention to see and to hear from the Lord. That is the time to be sensitive to the Spirit. That is the time to be patient. You know, sometimes devil will try to manipulate you. Devil will try to make you shame and disgrace. Devil will bring afflictions just to intimidate you. But my brothers, don't get confused. It might be the time that you don't know what to do. But I tell you, remember what I said. I said, don't run away from the challenges. Number two, I said, don't be afraid. Then number three, I said, seek the Lord in prayer. Then number four, which I'm talking about now, pay more attention. Pay more what? Attention. It is a time for you to pay more attention to God. God wants to speak. Now, in the place that we read in that second chronicle chapter 20, and the Bible said that Joshua and the congregations of the Judah and Jerusalem, they seek the face of God. In what? In prayer and in fasting. And why they are seeking the face of the Lord? And the Bible said they were paying attention. And God had to release a word from one of the priests. Tell Joshua the king of Judah. Tell him that he should not be afraid. That victory belong to him. Because the Lord has promised to do what? To fight. Now, when we pay attention, that's the time that the instructions from God will come. That's the time that the direction of God will come. That's the time that God will tell us what is his mind and his agenda. In the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21, he said, you shall hear a voice behind your ear saying, this is the way. Be a right or be a left. Follow it. You see how the prophet of old would give victory and bring victory to the children of Israel. He said, as a result of instructions of God. Every victory, every victory granted to them Right from the time of Abraham, even until date, till the time of Jesus, all is as a result of instruction, directions. Tonight, I pray and I stand with you. God will give you direction. God will give you instruction. God will show you the way. God will show you the plan. God will make way for you. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare tonight. Amen, 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 amen. That is the time in Isaiah chapter 28. Let's read our Bible. In Isaiah chapter 28, verse 23, it said, Listen to me, listen to me, oh my people. He said, And pay more attention. God wants you to pay more attention. God wants you to listen and listen. God wants you to hear what he is saying. Remember, he speaks all the time. You are not the one that is not hearing from him. You are not the one that is not focusing in him. You are not the one that is not. Only you is the one that is not focusing. God, he wants to speak to you. He wants to say something to you. He wants to direct you. He wants to show you the way. He wants to tell you, this is the right. This is not the right. This is what to do. This is what not to do. He wants to speak to you. That is why those you are hustling, you are looking for money, you are doing business, you are seeking God for a relationship, you are waiting upon the Lord for one miracle on the other. Pay attention. God will release a word of breakthrough. God will release a direction of breakthrough. God will release a place of miracle. God will show you a way you should follow. But you must do what? You must pay attention. Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 29. He said, Oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, it. Hear the word of the Lord. When he talk about it, he's talking about I and you. Pay attention to what God is saying. Pay attention to the voice of the Lord. Pay attention to your dreams. God will speak to you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, when you go to the account of prophet Habakkuk, when you go to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1, now Habakkuk was waiting upon the Lord. Look at what Habakkuk says. He said, I stand at my watch and I station myself on the rampart or on the hill and I will look to see what the Lord will say unto me and what answer I am going to give to this complainant and the Lord appeared to him and he said to Habakkuk write down the vision and he wrote it down he said write it down that anyone who read the vision he said that they may do what they may run with it. Remember, people perish where there is no vision, where there is no knowledge. Lack of knowledge and vision will always bring people to make people to what? To perish. So I believe no one will perish in the name of Jesus. Now, after you pay attention, number four, then number five, you need to obey and follow God's instruction. Obey and follow God's instruction. When you are looking for what to do, when you don't know what to do. Remember what I said to you, every breakthrough carry instruction, my brothers and my sisters. Every elevation carries instructions of God. Every promotion carries instructions from God. That's why I say you must pay attention. And after that, you receive the word. You receive the information. You receive the direction. You receive the way that he showed to you. Now, you follow the way. You do what? You follow the way. May you begin to follow the way that God will show you from this moment. 
May you begin to do the things that he will say to you. May you begin to follow the instruction that he will give to you. And as you follow those instructions, receive breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, 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 amen. Now, when you go to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 4, verse 3, it talk about a woman, a woman who obeyed the voice of God through the prophet. Who have run out of jar of water. Who have run out of oil, sorry to say. And there was no money to clear the debt of the husband. And the debtors, they were after the children of the woman. But God uses his servant to give the woman instruction to buy and bring and borrow more empty jars. And he said to the woman, begin to fill up all the empty jars. And he filled them up. And he began to sell all those empty jars in order to pay her debt. And he was rescued and delivered from the debtors who wanted to destroy the family and destroy the children. What am I trying to tell you? God is God that doeth the impossible things. My brothers and my sisters, is anything that is difficult in your life, is anything look so impossible? When we look around our life, our family, there are things that seem impossible, even in my own life or in my own family. But I believe one thing that with God, all things are possible. And the same thing applicable to you, trust in Him. With God, all things are possible. It is God that doeth the impossible things. I prophesy to your life tonight. God will do the impossible things in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Impossible things. Those things that are impossible, they shall become possible. Those things that say there is no way, after tonight, there is way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Book of Psalm 32, verse 8. He said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. And I will guide you with it and with my eyes. I will teach you and show you the way you should walk. You should go. Tonight, I'm going to stop here. We're going to pray. We're going to pray wherever you are. Believe God for miracle tonight. Believe God for impossible things. Believe God for the things that you are not able to achieve. Believe God tonight. God is going to give the achievement in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to do what? He's going to give the word, the achievement in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray tonight? We're going to pray because the Bible encourages us to pray, especially when it comes to area of warfare. We need to pray and to intercept the works of the adversary and the works of the kingdom of darkness. Lika to Yebragada Moshe to Logo City. Just wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand. God is above every mountain. Wave your hand to his glory. Wave your hands. Say, God, you are above everything I'm going through. God, you are bigger than the mountain that is before me. Just wave your right hand and begin to say this. God, you are bigger than everything that is before me. You are bigger than the mountain. You are bigger than the giant. You are bigger than the challenges. You are bigger than the sorrow. You are bigger than the pain. You are bigger than the sickness. You are bigger than all the challenges that I am going through. You are bigger than death. Wave your hand unto his glory. Wave your hand. 
with your hand. Ma karabashi ndelebos. Heke telebosete. Egerebosete. Jesus must be honor. Must be honor. Must be honor. Savior must be honor in my life every day. Jesus must be honor. Must be honor. Must be honor. Jesus must be honor in our life every day. Jesus must be honor. Must be honor. Must be honor. Savior must be honor in our life every day. Jesus must be honor. Must be honor. Must be honor. Jesus must be honor in our life every day. Tonight, I want you to speak to that mountain. What is that thing that is bothering you? What is that thing that is in your front? What is that thing that has been entangling you and entangling your spirit? What is that thing that is weighing you down? That when you remember them, you cease to give up a lie. You cease to give the ghost. What is that thing in your life that is weighing you down? Is heavy for you? What is that thing that is too heavy? And there is no one that could help you to shoulder the burden. But I tell you tonight, Jesus is taking away the burden. The Lord said to Joshua in Joshua chapter 5, He said, This day I have taken the reproach off your neck. Say, My father, my father, you mounted before me. You brought him before me tonight. I speak it to you. Disappear. Begin to pray. Disappear. Lakuto lekete ya bragata la bragata la bragata la bragata. Every mountain, every body, every circumstance before you, begin to confront them right now. Confront them right now. Confront them right now. Disappear. 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 Every mountain, every mountain before you, every body, challenges that are before you, begin to declare right now. Say, let that challenge, let it be disappeared. Let that mountain be disappeared. Let that body, let it be disappeared. Disappear, 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 disappear. Oh, you mountain, disappear. In Zechariah chapter 4, the Bible says, Oh God, and the Lord is spoke to prophet Zechariah. He said, Tell Zerubbabel, verse 7. He says, Say to him, It's not by his power, it's not by his strength, but by the spirit. He said, Tell him that the hand that laid the foundation, that that hand shall complete it, that hand shall finish it. And he said to him, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. He said, Oh, ye mountain, before Zerubbabel, I command you right now, you shall be complete. You shall be complete. You shall disappear. Begin to speak against that mountain. Against that challenge. Against that challenge. Against that challenge. Against that challenge. You know the challenges you are going through. You know the burden that you have. You know the power that is entangling you. You know the forces that is fighting you. You know the enemy that are fighting against you. You know the power from the pit of hell. You know the witches. You know the foundational power that is fighting against you. Now this is the time to stand strong and begin to declare and say tonight you challenges I command you disappear you mountain I command you disappear 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 disappear
disappear, 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 disappear. I koto koto li pragata la pragata la brukoto li pragata la pragata la brukoto li pragata la pragata la pragata la voshuti. I kata la pragata la pragata la pragata. You mountain, you mountain. Before my family, you mountain. Before my ministry, you mountain. Before me, before my health, you mountain. Before my brothers and my sisters, I confront you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I confront you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command you lose your host. Rakute ya katia bagata la bosutu. Magata ya bragata la brokoto li bragata. Akota akoto ikete ikata akoto ikata ikata akoto ikata. Every challenge before you tonight disappear, 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 disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're going to declare tonight. Say, my father, my father, I am free from every yoke. I am free from every yoke. I am free from every yoke. Begin to declare, I am free from every yoke. Every yoke of darkness, every yoke of poverty, every yoke of sickness, every yoke of body, over body, every yoke of anxiety, every yoke of fear, all kinds of yoke, every yoke of death, begin to declare tonight. Rakoti ya bragada bragada la bragada la bokoto. Every yoke destroy, 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 destroy. Say, I am free from the yoke. I am free from every yoke of darkness. I am free from every yoke. I am free from every yoke. Every yoke, every yoke that the devil has placed upon you to weigh you down. Every body, every body, every body, every body, every yoke, every yoke, every yoke of entanglement. Begin to set yourself free. Any where the devil has put a yoke upon you and the yoke is weighing you down. Anywhere the devil has put a burden upon you and is weighing you down. Anywhere the devil has put a burden of confusion. Anywhere the devil has put a mark and he has put a yoke upon you and is weighing you down. Begin to pray tonight. Say by the blood of Jesus, I am free. I am free. I am free. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I am free. I am free. Begin to declare. I am free. I am free from every yoke. I am free. 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 I am free from yokes. I am free from everybody. I am free from yokes. I am free from bodies. I am free. La kotia bragada bosundulu. I regedele bragedele bosundi. I kata kata kata. Ma kata la brugodosundi. I kata la bragada la basundi. I am free in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free from that yoke. You are free from that debt. You that is owing debt. You are owing a debt. A financial debt. Tonight you are free from that debt. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are free from that debt. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cut you off from that debt. In the mighty name of Jesus. That body. You are free. You are free. You are free. That heavy load. Family load you carry. You are free today in the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching me here right now. The burden is too heavy for you. But tonight. 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 That burden is lifted tonight. That burden is lifted. It's lifted. It's lifted. Above every standard. It's lifted. 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 That burden is lifted tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. You are free. Say, I am free. 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 I am free in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you are going to pray. Every arrow that release against you from the kingdom of darkness, anywhere an arrow release against you, the Bible said, No enchantment against Jacob shall prosper, no weapon that form against you shall prosper, no arrow that fly by the day, nor by the night shall prosper against you. Say, My father, my father, every arrow, evil arrow that release against me tonight, back to sender. Back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender.
back to sender. I reverse the arrow. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of poverty. Arrow of failure. Arrow, arrow, every arrow, any kind of arrow. Arrow of death is reversed tonight. By the power of the Holy Ghost. It's reversed tonight. 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 Accident. Arrow of accident. Reverse tonight. Reverse tonight. Reverse tonight. Reverse tonight. Arrow of death. Anyone here that have been assigned for death. Anyone here that your name have been registered in the book of death. Your name is deleted. I delete your name tonight. I delete your name from the book of death. And I register your name tonight in the book of life. I register your name tonight in the book of life. Father Lord, we revise the arrow of death. We revise the arrow of sickness. We revise the arrow of failure. Arrow of body. Arrow of anxiety. Arrow of disease. Arrow of affliction. Begin to revise them tonight. We revise them. We revise them. Holy Ghost fire. We revise every evil arrow. Evil arrow. Evil arrow against my family. Tonight be reversed, be reversed back to sender, be reversed, 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 a cotia bragada bazandalaba, e kata kata cotia bragada la brocoto li bragada la bragada la brocoto, e regadele brigadele brocoto, in the name of Jesus Christ. That arrow is reversed tonight. That arrow is reversed tonight. Say, my father, my father, anywhere they register your name in the book of death, in the book of sickness, in the book of failure, in the book of disease, anywhere your name is registered, in the book of shame, and in the book of disgrace, tonight your name is deleted. Begin to declare. I delete my name from the book of death. I delete my name from the book of death. I delete the name of my wife, my children, my family member. I delete their name from the book of death. I delete their name from the book of sickness. I delete their name from the book of failure. From the book of failure, I delete my name. I delete my name. Father, oh God, I vanish my name from there. I erase my name from the book of death. From the book of death, begin to delete your name from the book of failure. Book of disappointment. Book of shame. Book of disgrace. Anywhere your name is registered in the book of death, in the book of accident, in the book of sorrow, in the book of mourning, begin to delete them. Begin to erase your name by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I erase the name of anyone here that their name is registered in the list of the book of death. Your name is erased tonight. Your name is erased tonight. Your name is deleted tonight by the blood of Jesus. Your name is deleted. I delete your name. I delete your name. I erase your name from the, the, the book of death. From the book of death. From the book of death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now you are going to register your name in the book of life. Say, my father, my father. I register my name by your power and by the power of resurrection. By the power of resurrection of Christ. I register my name in the book of life. I register my name in the book of success. I register my name in the book of peace, in the book of joy, in the book of healing. Begin to register your name in the book of life. In the book of life, your name is registered tonight. Your name is registered tonight in the book of life. Yes, your name is registered in the book of life today. In the book of life. In the book of life. In the book of breakthrough. In the book of favor. In the book of blessings. In the book of abundance. Your name is registered today. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Place your hand on your head. Begin to command on common favor. Say, favor, locate me. Locate me. Favor, speak. Speak for me. Favor, speak for me. May favor cover you. Cover your household. Begin to declare. Say, favor. Favor, favor of God. Favor of God, look at me. Look at me. Until my name become a favor. Rakoti Abasanda. You are highly favored. You are highly favored. You are highly favored. You are highly favored. Rakotuli Bragajanda Labasi. Zekede Libregede Librokotus. Ekata Katala Bragadalabasiti. Ekete Ekete Eketes. Magadalaba. Receive favor. Receive favor. Uncommon favor. Wherever you are. Favor, 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 favor. Tonight receive favor. In Jesus' name, we declare. Amen. Father, we thank you tonight. As many who listen to your teaching and who listen and who pray, may God grant you all favor. Victory is yours. Because the Lord granted victory to Joseph. And the same way God has granted victory upon your life upon your household upon your family members in the name of jesus whatever that bothers you from today is no more father oh god as many who join this service brother francis you are highly favored your days of labor your days of over labor your days of strugglings it is over your days of disappointment is terminated today May your door open. Enemy that always fight you at night. As this hand, I raise this hand upon you. The hand of God be upon you, upon your house. Anytime enemy will come at your night to distract and to disturb you, the hand of God will fight them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Mika, I pray for you. May God restore you. May God give you peace. May the plan of the wicked may he not succeed over you and over your family. In the name of Jesus, Sister Joy, I pray for you that God mercy will intervene on your behalf. The trouble from home will not reach you. Today, God has established is angel in your life that will fight for your household, including your husband, Edwin. In the name of Jesus, peace be upon your marriage. You will not labor in vain. You will not walk in vain. May God keep your head and keep you safe. In the name of Jesus. You will not lose whatever you are labored for, Brother Edwin. In Jesus' name. Brother Louis, I pray for you. The Lord said you will not die. You will live according to his word and i decree and i declare that this year god establishment will be your portion in the name of jesus brother franco francis Abati, i pray for you that which you are expecting in this month of february is granted to you in the name of jesus in less than three days you will testify in Jesus' name. Brother Austin Chukuka, the hand of God is upon you. There is something that God has promised you. And God will bring it to fulfillment this year. The power that is fighting against the promise of God in your life, tonight they are defeated. They are defeated. You will not fail anymore. The power that always fight and make sure that you fail. That power, you have defeated it. You have overcome it. In Jesus' name. Sister Joy, divine joy, I pray for you. Father, oh God, bless the family. Bless the family. Enemy that are waiting to laugh at you, they will continue. They have tried many times. But the more they try, the more they see the goodness of God in your life. 
and the goodness of God will continue to follow you in Jesus name anybody that is having bleeding here tonight that bleeding is stopping from this all night encounter in the name of Jesus and anybody who had a dream where dogs are pursuing him tonight the enemy that are pursuing you you will begin to pursue them in the name of Jesus father I thank you Lord everyone that is experiencing nightmare eating in the dream having sex in the dream tonight as I raise my hand towards you Lord may your hand right now intervene may the hand of God be upon you no marine spirit spiritual wife and spiritual husband will come to your dream anymore anytime they enter your house fire of God will intervene in the name of Jesus as many who join this all night put anointing oil in water spray in your room spray in your room put anointing water anointing oil in water and use that water to spray in your room before you sleep tonight I tell you the truth you will sleep well God will show you the mighty things that thou knowest not praise the lord i pray for michael god bless you god favor you brother avis may god grant your desire i ask enemy that are fighting against you monitoring you always now monitoring devices they are broken in the name of jesus Every monitoring devices against you is broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yes, winter flower, may God bless you and bless your household. Those who are sick, I pray for you wherever you are. You have fever, you contacted virus, whatever you have contacted, Father Lord, in the book of Psalm 107, verse 20, he said, The Lord sent forth his word. And he healed our diseases and he delivered us from destructions. Father, heal your children. In Isaiah 53, verse 5, he said, By his stripes you are healed. Tonight, as many who are sick, as many who are entangled, you are delivered, you are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed of that sickness, you are healed of that disease. You are healed. You are rescued. You are delivered. In the name of Jesus, my household is delivered. And my household is healed. In the name of Jesus, your household is healed. Your household is delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. Father, give your children favor. Give them favor. Prayer rough. May God bless you and visit you divinely. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Those I didn't mention their name, Sam. May God increase you. I pray that this season shall be your season. God who visited you recently will visit you again. In the name of Jesus. Is there anybody here? Your mother is seriously sick. Father Lord, I pray for healing. Healing, 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 healing upon your mother in the name of Jesus. Sister Julie, I pray for you that grace will cover you. Grace will cover you in the name of Jesus. Grace will cover you. There is somebody here that lost money yesterday. Father, I decree and I declare God will restore it in a double fold in less than three days time in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Save her. May God increase you. May God multiply you. May you continue to sow her. God open more doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody here. You have been having this contemplating that's like. You are confused and there is a step you are trying to make 
and there is that step is concerning business you are about to do a business 